Hello everyone, this is Christina from Two Howling Monkeys and today I'd like to show you um, my way, my version of how to wind one of these balls of yarn. Um, most uh, balls that we wind are in complete, you know, it, it is a ball and then it rolls around and uh, the cat or the dog enjoys knocking it around the house and it can be end up being a big mess and um, what I came up with here is a version of a ball of yarn but it's flat on the bottom and uh, I made it to where you can pull the thread from the inside rather than the outside and it comes out real easy and so no mess no fuss alright so I will show you Today we're going to be using Red Heart Super Saver, but you could use pretty much any yarn. Um, I started to pull out the yarn from the center to show you how to make the, the ball, and I had a big old knot, and that was my point exactly on why I like to wind my skeins up into these balls, because you pull it and you get a bird's nest and that can be quite aggravating. So I'm going to get started here, put this aside. Alright, so you want to start with a tail uh, long enough that you can pull out of the center. So you go like that and you take your two fingers like you're doing sign language and then you just wind this around. And you want to get a good amount started because you're trying to start a ball. So you need a bit of a foundation there. Okay, now what you want to start doing is crossing over. And see how what I'm doing is catching the bottom edge here of this the yarn that I had wound around. And then I'm catching up at the top and that's pulling this that I had wound around my fingers in and it's going to hold it in. So you do that a few times and then you go the opposite direction. And you can see I'm still holding on to this tail. Now you go this way. Alright, then you go straight. You can see we're trying to build this up. Alright, now we're going to start going this way. We've got ourselves a nice little foundation. See how I'm turning my hand, but yet I'm still going to the bottom and I'm going up to the top. Turn my hand. Okay, now I'm holding the, th the piece of yarn right there because I don't want it to get loose. Gently work your fingers out. I'm going to put my thumb in. doesn't have to go very far. I'm just holding it. See? All right. Now this is going to be your bottom. This will be the top of that ball. Now we go. And we're going to do this. And you see how I'm working up my thumb here, and then I use my finger to go along the edge. Pretty easy, but a ball begins to form. And you just turn it, and I'm guiding with my finger. Your turns don't have to be perfect. Your yarn does not have to lay perfect. See the bottom? And what you can do is if that gets to be too small, you could just make it a circle. And you turn. As I go around, I'm still hanging on to this. And then you can go as fast or as slow as you want. I'm 
Okay, I've been winding this for a short while now. And I want to show you how it's working up my thumb here. And your thumb will, I mean, it can only go up so far before your ball starts working its way up. But you're, you know, off your thumb. But you're still working it and you're building this way. This is the bottom side. And if you have yarn that, say, let me do something here. If you crossed over too much and it's something like that, you just go like this and it just smooths it out very easy but it's making a flat bottom now you don't want you want to be careful and not go too far over the edge because you're gonna start slipping down like that and that's what will happen what you want to do is take it up here and then you go up to that edge See, you can even, to grab on, cross over like that, and it grabs it. You just keep turning. You see, I need to make spread that out a little, so I go like this, and it spreads that bottom out where it had been crossing, and... You just do that every so many rows, so many turns that you do this, and it just keeps that flat. Now, as you can see, it's gotten large, so I can't use my finger for a guide, so you have to be a little more careful. But you just, pretty much it's easy. Okay, now I'm at my end here. You just tuck that in. And there's your starter. I'm going to just lightly tuck that down in there. But it, well, I'll pull it out so I can show you. So you can see it's a deep hole and it just pulls up out of there when I'm not using it I tuck the, the thread in and you can see that it takes on more the shape of an egg I got this one a little too close to the side but um, you can see it takes on more the shape of an egg um, because of the colors I like to call these jelly beans just because they're fun. So you take the label. You always want to keep your label with your yarn close by so that if you ever need to buy some more you know what you need to get and all the information is there. I have a lot of uh, portions of uh, skeins of yarn and I, always, I used to fold this in half and wrap my yarn around it so when I came to the end I had the information with it but I do like this technique better and I figured out a way how to keep this information with it and what I do is I turn it over and I just tuck it down in here and it fits in there really nicely and it stays there so you could have this on the table beside you or on the floor beside your chair and you could just crochet along or knit and and uh, pull this right up out of there and what happens is as you're using up your yarn this uh, doesn't become as full and this just kind of deflates down and it becomes loose just like your skein of yarn however like with your your skeins is, uh, as you pull them out they get birds nests but this doesn't this technique doesn't so this has really worked for me and I'm I um, I'm very happy to share with you my technique and uh, hope it works great for you. So thank you for watching this video from Two Howling Monkeys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay in touch with our channel. Uh, we will be uploading new videos weekly and we have a lot of tips and tricks that will help you uh, make your sewing and your crochet knitting much easier. 
So thank you very much. Have a great day.